Hi, in this video, I want to demonstrate how to create a purchase invoice. So you have two options uh, for creating a purchase invoice. The first one is where you go through the buying module. So when I click on the buying module here, you can see down here that we have in the buying uh, master uh, reports and masters, we have a purchase invoice down here. So if I click on this purchase invoice, that's going to take me to the list of all the purchase invoices that I have in the system. And now I can go ahead and create my new invoice by clicking on this. The other option, when you are anywhere in the system, let's say for instance, you are either in the buying module or you are even home, there is a very uh, wonderful search up here that actually has been given the name Awesome Search here. You see this? And I can search basically anything here, not excluding purchase invoice. So I can go ahead and do purchase invoice here and then I can I can click on that that is going to again take me to the list of all the purchase invoices that we have in the system and I can again go ahead and create a new purchase invoice so let me go ahead and create new and then here the first thing I need to do is just to select the supplier so from where am I buying these items you can just typing start typing the name of your supplier something like let's say one and that's going to filter the supplier whose name is matching whatever you are typing up here. If this is a supplier I'm looking for, you can just select on that supplier and then you can go ahead and enter the items that you have uh, purchased here. If the supplier is not in the system, let's say something like Uppersoft suppliers. So you can see when I type the name Uppersoft suppliers, there is no supplier called Uppersoft suppliers. So that means I have to first of all create that, that supplier. Again, that process is easy. You can see when that name is there, I can click on create a new supplier. All right. This pop-up shows up and then I can just select the supplier group. So let's say for instance, this is uh, pharmaceutical. So you're just going to supply to select the uh, group of your suppliers. And then you can just save for purpose of quickly capturing this supplier. You can uh, save it or save that supplier and then you can be able to use that, that supplier. Later on, you can go to this supplier and you can uh, enter other details for that supplier. We are going to be capturing more about the supplier details on a different video. But since this video is strictly about uh, uh, entering a purchase invoice, the information we entered there, just the supplier name and the supplier group, will be sufficient for you uh, to be able to proceed creating the purchase invoice with the supplier. So I just come down here and then I enter the items that I am uh, buying from the supplier. Let's say it's item one. And then I also am buying item two. So you can, you are just going to uh, uh, select all the items that you are buying from the supplier. So this, again, you are going to enter the uh, amount. So let's say, for instance, I'm buying this for 1500 and I want to buy 20 of these and then I want to buy 30 of this or maybe 40 of these other items. All right. So that is it. And now we don't have to worry about anything else down here. We can just go ahead and save. And then, uh, of course, we can now go ahead and submit that supplier invoice. And we have done. We are complete. We have completed creating the supplier invoice. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.